The first real-life pictures and video are in from Peter McNabb and Carl LaFontaine from the home arcade gaming community. They posted these photos on Facebook as well as the video I'm about to play showing off what this arcade one-up centipede legacy cabinet is all about. Let's check it out. All right, so here it is, and it's glory. The new Atari Legacy Centipede Cam from the sides. And let's move uh, to the control panel. And uh, it's slightly angled. I don't know if you can see it from here. Slightly angled. It's kind of neat. You got the beautiful volcano buttons. The correct alignment for, you know, playing Missile Command. The trackball. Uh, one thing here. On the renders, it was a white casing, but it's black casing, so I guess it's classic. And here's a look at the, you know, current online, you know, leaderboards. And this is the menu, so use the trackball to move from the different games. And obviously, Lunar Lander doesn't have any online leaderboards for obvious reasons. And uh, you get the background with some cool retro arcade games that we love. And if we want to move to a different game, uh, well, different games, you hit the page. And you can hit page three for some more. All right, so you get the settings. I'm not going to show you all the settings. They're pretty much the same as on the Tempest Cam. Uh, but you, you do have smoothing, uh, which I didn't, don't remember on this, if it was on the Tempest Cam. So you have smooth, smooth smoothing effects uh, for all of them. And so the big question is, in regards to the screen, right? So the screen is, it feels, you know, like what we saw with um, Gen 1, five by four, and the depth of the black, um, and uh, you know, you get a bit of a washed out effect if you go to the sides. And if you're pretty tall, you're gonna have that effect maybe, you know, on a more regular basis. Uh, I'm 5'9", so it's not that bad. If you move away here, you see, you know, the class of 81, and the blacks are a bit, you know, they're better. So, all in all, a beautiful cab, and it has a really, really nice marquee, I must say. If you compare, like, the class of 81, I know, that, you know, the, the background was black, but it's really washed out, and that's probably one of their worst marquees ever. Centipede is beautiful, really nice. You know, comes out really perfectly. And the other question that was really popular, I think, that people wanted to know is for asteroids. Have they fixed the sound? And the answer is yes. So now when you shoot in asteroids, you won't hear, hear the sound, um, you know, twice. So it's just going to be normal. And that's all thanks to Peter, who buys his cabs from Walmart here in Canada. And he gets them super early. Super early, like the first in the world. So once again, big thanks to Carl and Peter for sharing this stuff in some Arcade 1UP Facebook groups. I know not all of my subscribers are in these Facebook groups, hence why I wanted to put together this quick informational video for you. That way you guys can see what this thing's all about, especially if you pre-ordered it or potentially are considering pre-ordering the cabinet. We do have some wins and losses here. The monitor seems decent, but not perfect. Not as good as a BOE monitor. The marquee looks stunning. The rest of the cabinet looks stunning. And of course, we have our dirty ivory trackball. Not a nice, clean, white trackball. But uh, minus some nitpicky stuff, everything else is looking pretty good about this one. But I want to know what you guys think. Definitely uh, leave me your feedback, thoughts, reactions below. If you enjoyed this quick update, especially thanks to Carl and Peter, give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.